What's up, my people? <laughs> so I wanted to make a video about Kosh and why I moved there in winter and uh, why Kosh when there's Feti around, which is a working city, I'm much busier. But I thought it would be a good topic about why I moved to Kosh and uh, in Turkey, living in Turkey. So this is what this video is going to be about. But today I'm at Butterfly Valley and it's about a two hour drive from uh, Kosh and about maybe a 20 minute drive from Feti. Yeah, it's beautiful. Fethiye is really nice as well. Yeah, I just want to talk to you guys about why I moved to Kosh. I want to give you my reasons. There are so many reasons for other people that go nearby towns. That's the thing about Turkey. There's so many places and it suits different type of personality. Some people love the Bodrum or Izmir, Antalya, depending on who you are. For myself, I chose Kosh. And let's get to that. I want to talk to you guys about that. <music> drove up here with uh, my buddy from Canada and his family I'm at Butterfly Valley very highly talked about I'm on top of a mountain here and uh, down there there's the valley itself which I'll show you in a second and I got some drone footage as well and the reason they call it Butterfly Valley is because all around the valley uh, there's different types of butterflies I guess that's what I read and uh, it's gorgeous and the view is incredible you can see all the way down there, people walk and there's so many different viewpoints. You could get a different perspective from area. I got a drone. <laughs> Somebody else is flying a drone up there. I can see it right there. Gotcha. There you go. Butterfly Valley. As you can see, it's a beautiful sight. And that's where I saw people walking. Must be a beautiful point of view right there villages all around so many places to just stop and enjoy the scenery but as you can see the sun is about to set so reason number one why i chose kosh there are so many historical sites nearby and i actually went and saw some of them with my friends I didn't want to kind of uh, record that because I just wanted to enjoy the moment. So I will go back and I'll show you guys as well. But we found an ancient city around Patara, the Patara ancient city, beautiful beach. There's like a desert there and uh, it's just an unbelievable sight. And uh, right beside us is the city of Xanthos, which is another beautiful site. But all around Kosh, between Kosh and Fethiye and Kosh and Antalya, there are so many sites, ancient ones, where you can enjoy. And I know only a couple of them, but uh, as I travel in my videos, I want to show more of those. But the ones that I've seen so far is Xanthos and Patara, and they're literally about five minutes away from each other. And from Kosh to those cities, it's about maybe a 40 minute drive. So that's one of the reasons. So many ancient sites I'd love to explore as well. Reason number two is that it's winter and Kosh is one of the warmest places in Turkey you could experience around Antalya region, the most southern part of Turkey actually. A lot warmer than Marmaris I found. For example, right now it's 19 degrees. I'm wearing this because we're on a mountain. From what I've experienced between there and Marmaris, it's a lot warmer because before I left Marmaris, uh, it was about nine degrees and coming here and I'm experiencing 19 degrees in the beginning of January Yeah, I made the right choice. I think it's been continuously sunny for the past couple of days It rained a few days a couple of days, but now it's been continuously just sunny beautiful weather Sometimes a little windy, but it's gorgeous loving the weather in Kosh right now and actually this entire region so this is the southern side of uh, the Antalya province <laughs> reason number three this is another reason but same as number two because it's winter winter kosh is very cheap i got myself an airbnb and i have the most majestic view which i'm going to show you guys and uh, i take a look at the ocean across me it's literally the greek island of castel rizzo and prices of food and everything is cheap it's much quieter which i do enjoy 
and a lot of people have been telling me to go to like Antalya, Bodrum, Izmir, Fethiye. But to be honest, I just need to focus in the next month or two. I got a lot of projects to work on and I found Kosh would be the perfect place. And I'm living on the mountain over there. I can meditate. I can continue working on things. Wait till you see the site. It's gorgeous. I'm going to fly the drone over there when I get home and either add it in this vlog or in my next one. But I promise to show you guys, give you guys a little Airbnb tour. But it's literally on top of the mountains and everything is cheap. Like I said, Airbnbs are cheap. I assume uh, sometime around May, June, prices are going to start going up almost double or triple in some cases. That's reason number three. It's really cheap in winter. And I may want to spend another extra month here and spend two months in Kosh. It's just an incredible country. The more I stay here, it's totally underrated. Come and enjoy it yourself. You'll see what I'm talking about when you're here. Like I said, I'm comparing this to Thailand, Bali, Cambodia, Vietnam, uh, all of Indonesia pretty much. And uh, I've done Greece and uh, Bulgaria, uh, Canada obviously. And uh, I have traveled a little bit in, uh, in, um, in Italy. And I've seen a lot of things, but I'm telling you right now, Turkey, very underrated. Well, shh, there you are. <laughs> yeah, it's a dangerous site. <laughs> decided to do the rest of the vlog from yesterday in front of my house so I'm living right here this is the view I'm getting currently from up here I just want to go get inspired somewhere and it's a beautiful location uh, like a desert by the beach and there's an old uh, ancient site so I'll be there flying the drone and I'll talk to you guys about Kosh as you can see this is the ride down the mountain from my house and I get the most beautiful view and there's the city of Kosh. Every time I come down, I'm just in awe. And uh, I wanted to stay here for two weeks, but I extended it for two months. And uh, it was the best decision I've made because I actually fell in love with this place. Because I know I'll have time to discover other areas in Turkey later on. But I really want to explore this region due to so many sites to see. This is uh, Kosh. Welcome to Kosh, guys a new series and uh, I'm gonna do some motorbike series as well and uh, please stay tuned this is a new channel we're building really really fast I wasn't expecting my subscriber count to go that fast but yeah I'm excited let's go so here's another reason why I moved to Kosh if you have a scooter it's the most beautiful place to do it because you get such beautiful sights like that and there's actually a beach right there it's a popular beach i forgot the name i'm gonna go there and actually show you guys a little bit i wanted to fly the drone but if i do i won't have time to get to patara so one day i'll just come here at the beach and do a vlog just there on its own because it's definitely worth it but get a scooter scooter is the way to do it here and uh, that's another reason i really enjoy driving the scooter or just get a car yes by the mediterranean and it's gorgeous so that's another thing and once I get there to that beach well, right there I'll tell you guys another reason why I moved to Kosh and that's another reason there's beaches like this everywhere just minutes drive from Kosh so it took me about 15 minutes to come here and it's a beautiful aqua crystal clear waters 22 degrees today and we're in January 3rd and you can see the gorge opens up so this is another reason I wish I could fly my drone but I really don't have time but there you go yeah so that's the other reason coming to beaches around Kosh there there's so many of them they're all about maybe 15 minute drive early January it's about 22 degrees right now and it's hot I'm wearing this because of the scooter it's really hot so this gorge opens up to that beach I just showed you guys 
I've seen people walk down there. I'm not sure how they get there, but it's probably from the beach. So maybe one there, I'll go explore in here and see what's up. And so I still have some time to go. I'll probably be at Patara in another 20 minutes. It's 40 minutes by car, but with a scooter, it's gonna take a little, a little longer. I wanna make sure I'm there before it gets dark and uh, fly the drone and talk to you guys about a couple of other reasons. Uh, so on the way to Patara, you're going to see Kalkan on the way. And uh, Kalkan is another beautiful city, lots of villas like this. And uh, they're all over the place, these villas. But you can rent yourself one and enjoy the scenery. And as you can see, it's a really gorgeous place as well. I'm definitely gonna do a vlog just, just in Kalkan because it's a beautiful place just on its own. But not today. But that's another reason, Calcan. If I want to get away from cash for a little bit, I'll come here and enjoy the scenery. This region is just beautiful. The video doesn't do it justice. So many mountains, snow-capped mountains, and down here it's actually 22 degrees. And in the distance, I could see the mountains. Beautiful ride up here. So let's get to Patara. And all these that you see down here, there are greenhouses. So they're growing fruits, vegetables. This is the old ancient city of Patara. Yeah, so it's a beautiful site. This is what I love doing. I love to see ruins usually. So I want to kind of implement that more into my videos. So it's not always about information, but also you get to see what's around the areas. And this is another reason why I chose Kosh. There's so many sites around this area, not too far from Kosh. It took me about 40 minutes to get here. And uh, it's an ancient city. And just to know I'm in that region, it really puts a perspective on, on where I live. I mean, other people, thousands of years ago, there was a civilization here, and they were also enjoying the same mountains, the same scenery, the same beach. So this is the theater, Teatro. I won't be uh, reading the whole thing, but if you want, you guys could pause it and just see what it's about. So... 26 AD so about 2,000 years ago just a bit shy and uh, it's beautiful and it used to have the capacity of 6,000 people there's a boat here right in front of the theater and uh, the boat itself was found at the scene it's so well preserved that my eyes couldn't believe what I was looking at but that boat is real usually that it will be in a museum if this was another country but not here Turkey well preserved right here you could get really close to it let's take a look at it actually again i won't read it if you guys want to get really into it just pause the video and see what it was about but you can see it says from kosh not far from patara and that's where i live right now so i love why i'm staying in kosh and this is another reason guys kosh and patara very close let's take a look at the boat well preserved want to read more pause it but this theater it was actually built about um, first century BC so one century BC that means a hundred years before Christ existed so as you can tell this is where I guess they will walk up and perform right in the front there is a hall here, the major doors where they would walk in. 
and uh, this is the main theater. It is very beautiful. And uh, yeah, so they were standing right here while performing. And it is very well preserved. Let's take a look. I know there's a room here we can go to. You can hear a pin drop here. So, this is the old shape, and it seemed like it had a roof at one point. Lovely place, guys. There's so much here, history, that you can come and read and enjoy. Beautiful sight. Somebody very important sat down here and watched the entire theater. This street actually led to the harbor and uh, again first century BC I'll pause it if you guys are interested if you guys are interested give it a quick pause and read the whole thing let's go check it out so you can imagine here there'll be people trading and uh, selling things, horses walking here. They had an entire sewer system here, a very well-preserved civilization, remnants of it. I believe I read somewhere that these doors were actually a design that the Persian Empire came up with and uh, eventually the Greeks kind of adapted that style and uh, they put it in their architecture as you can see but this was a harbor street and like I said people would be trading here horses would be running up to the main town watching a play or some sort at the theater there nice to come and check out Turkey again I've said this before and I'll say it again Turkey is super underrated it deserves a lot more attention especially because of its history that not many people really know about one more thing I wanted to say to you guys it's I started the channel about what is it less than a month ago I uploaded my video but uh, we're almost at 500 subs I'm halfway there to my first thousand and uh, I really have nothing to say, but I appreciate it. Thank you for the love you guys have been sending me, the comments. And uh, it goes a long way. And it's not really about the subscription number for me, but it also shows me that people are interested in what I'm talking about and what I'm showing. The comments matter to me. Watching your comments, I like to respond to them every night. But again, thank you everybody for subscribing, commenting, and liking my videos. And I truly appreciate it. It gives me such a good vibe. I send you guys nothing but love. And uh, thank you again and again and again. Thank you so much, guys. All right, let's fly the drone.
I don't think the ancients knew that one day I'll be flying a drone from one of their columns 2,000 years ago. Come check out Patara, guys. Patara is beautiful. There's a lot to see here. There's an old town here as well. And there's a major beach, probably one of the best beaches I've ever seen in my life. I'll go there next week and uh, I'll make a video just about the beach. And so you guys, you'll see what I'm talking about. Also about the headband, I've got some comments about it and why I don't take it off. I got long hair and when I'm on the scooter, it gets all over the place and it's really messy. So I'd rather wear this all day and uh, maybe one day you'll see me without it. But yeah, sorry about that. And uh, come check out Patara guys, it's beautiful. And uh, I just wanted to say thank you for all the subscribers I'm getting. I'm gonna upload more consistently. So this is Ari signing out and I'll see you on the next one. Take care guys. Yeah.